Jennifer Tyler will be 25 next month. Early next year, she and her mum might have to relocate to Scotland to access a drug to improve her quality of life. But her dad, Steve, would be forced to stay in Oxfordshire for work. Hopefully Steve may be able to come up once a month. Mate. I mean, I'd like to say every weekend, but it's a long way. So it would be heartbreaking because Jennifer, you know, obviously we, look, we love to see very much and Jennifer absolutely adores him. Jennifer has suffered from the debilitating effects of tuberous sclerosis complex since she was a little girl. She struggles with epilepsy and has severe learning difficulties. If the doctors gave me more medicine, that will help me get better. Then I'll stop having those drop seizures. Then they won't happen. Akeem Baker, she says daily life can be a struggle. Well, I talk to my mummy and daddy about it. That's how I deal with it. In July, NHS England said it wouldn't fund the drug Evro Lemus for this related epilepsy. Campaigners are hoping a review next month will reverse that decision. So it's particularly tailored for um, people who have this condition and it's hugely effective. Um, 14 out of 15 people that we spoke to who'd taken the drug said that it made a huge difference to them, reducing their numbers of seizures and making them more predictable. And that really improved their quality of life. The Tyler family, just one of thousands waiting for news. We love Abingdon, you know, and we've got lots of lovely friends. So it's not an easy decision to make, but obviously if we have to move, we will. And I'm sure Jennifer will adapt eventually, but it will be really difficult. For now, Jennifer has a birthday to plan. Her family's future, however, remains unclear and unsettled. Peter Cook, BBC South Today.